It's Sunday today, which means another top five minutes of the week. We have some awesome projects in today's video that I want to show you guys. But as always, this is not financial advice, always do your own research, invest at your own risk and that stuff. But okay, with that said, let's just dive right into the first project. All right, now the first project I wanted to show you guys today is the BFGs minting on August 1st, which is tomorrow. 2016 BFGs have stomped over to Solana, giving you 75% revenue share over their live odds betting shop. So this is a sports betting project which i think seems really interesting 75 percent revenue share as well which is really solid of course and now taking a quick look at some of their sneak peeks here in their discord personally i like it especially some of these i think look really cool while some others look kind of like basic but overall i am a fan of their art especially these with some cool backgrounds and stuff like that but at the end of the day this isn't really an art project they have so much more going on so let me take you guys through that so jumping over to their website real quick the bfgs the future of crypto betting so the bfgs a group of 2016 giants who have one goal and one goal only to conquer the world of crypto betting now this is also really low supply that has to be said 2016 and i feel like that could be a benefit especially in this market because in this market we are seeing some of these higher supply projects not being able to mint out and stuff like that and just the fact that you're getting 75% revenue share on such a small supply collection means that you could be getting some pretty damn solid passive income by only holding one of their NFTs. Then right here you have their team consisting of these eight people and taking a look at their roadmap right here they basically have community building and brand awareness in their first part and then you have their NFT launch with a supply of course of 2016 public price of two Solana whitelist 1.5 and OG 0.75 launching on August first not sure what launch pad they're launching on yet but two solana public mint price isn't that bad for this project either in my opinion considering their low supply 75 percent revenue share as well and the fact that solana is pretty cheap at like 40 45 dollars to solana isn't bad for this project then you have the bfg's dow you have the betting store the financials and governance right here and the bfg's future so 75 percent of weekly profits will be split between the 2016 supply of giants 25 percent of the the weekly profits will go to paying the team and maintenance of the project then 80 percent of the profits made from each flip will go towards the dow vault ready for payouts and 20 percent of the profits made from each flip will go towards paying the team members and right here you can kind of see a demo of what their platform will look like so it looks super clean super easy to use you can bet on different sports games and stuff like that so i mean as long as they're able to create a good platform like what we're seeing right here and actually launch it and stuff like that i think this has great potential and just some quick details on their actual betting store the betting store offers both holders and non-holders the chance to experience the future of crypto betting there are a variety of sports and leagues available to bet on with the odds generated from professional live sports books as well as sports crypto price predictions nft floor price action and gaming tournaments will also be an option to bet on so they do have a lot of interesting things coming so the bfgs is the first project in today's video and just a really interesting project all right moving on to the second project we have bigfoot town minting on august 5th on the magic eden launchpad and first of all taking a look at their art i like it a lot it's like super unique and colorful characters as you can see right here these bigfoot people and i just think it's like super unique and pretty cool artwork and they're doing these one-on-ones as well which look pretty cool this is for frank of course they even made one for me right here which is pretty sick and the mint happening on august 5th is actually only the first batch of nfts as you can see right here the total supply is 9984 hinting for 1.4 solana for og and whitelist and 1.9 for public now batch one only has a supply of 3000 that's the mint happening now then you have batch two which is the remaining supply happening later in august and they have this great twitter thread right here going over their entire project and vision utilities and roadmap and stuff like that as well so basically it's an education nft tools hub as well as a game DAO and profit sharing model so the first thing they're doing is focusing on the education part they're educating on a lot of different tools and stuff over in their discord as well as other education things as well as building more education for the ecosystem in the future and then 
they will also in the future build like a mobile game, like a tower defense game, I'm pretty sure. So that will be really interesting and obviously sharing the profits from that game to the holders of their NFT. And then scrolling further down in the thread, they go a bit more into detail on the education part. So for example, come to our Discord and see the learning content we already delivered for Hello Moon, Souls Watch, NFT Folio, Cupy Crypto, and OGXYC. And jumping quickly over to their Discord, you can see an example of this. So this is the Hello Moon section. You can see everything you need to know about Hello Moon, how to use it and utilize their awesome platform. And this is a great way to just educate the public on how to actually benefit from these awesome tools available. They're building unique artwork for the NFT space, of course, which we have already looked at. You have some more utilities, just hodl, the money will come from revenue sharing. And if you want to go even more into detail on this project, you could check out their website right here, which also looks super clean. So overall, Bigfoot Town is another really interesting project minting soon. Now, one thing to have in mind is their big supply of almost 10,000 NFTs in this market. Like, unfortunately, the market conditions isn't looking amazing for like massive supply projects, but it is for sure a really interesting project to have on your radar. All right, quickly covering this one as well. We have NFT leagues. I have already talked about this project previously on the channel, but this is a free mint happening this week, actually. Play, dunk, and earn. They have 15,000 followers right here and they're basically doing two separate mints. So the first mint is the launch of 1,000 NFTs or 999 to be exact, minting on August 5th on the Magic Eden launchpad. And this is the free mint. And then they have a drop number two coming in the future. The supply of drop number two will be 2,000 NFTs. As it says right here, we don't really know if this one will be free, but I'm guessing probably not. They will probably have a mint price for drop number two, but the first drop is free. And these guys are doing some cool things because Let's be honest, most free mints are just horrible, but these guys actually have raised over $1 million in seed funding. They're building their own basketball game, which will launch in Q4 right here, 3v3 game completion and launch. And they're doing other cool stuff as well. So this is for sure a pretty interesting project to have on your radar as well. All right, moving on to the fourth project today, we have Neko Suma. So the community driven merch brand that the Web3 DGens truly deserve. Taking a look at their artwork first, of all, personally, I really like some of their sneak peeks while some other ones are like, okay, but overall their art does look pretty nice. But there are some things that I just don't really like that much about this project. First of all, launching on August 4th with a supply of 5,555 for two Solana for whitelist and 2.5 for public. Now, if we take a quick look at some of their engagement and stuff here on Twitter, they just don't really get a lot of engagement and considering they have a pretty high supply of 5,555 for a pretty high main price as well, 2.5 Solana public. With this engagement and this amount of hype, I don't really see these guys selling out, especially in this market as well, which is unfortunate, but it is for sure another interesting project and I had to feature it because it's like one of the biggest mints happening this week. But this is probably not something that I would mint personally. And another thing I don't really like that much about this project is that it's mainly like a brand project. So Nekozuma is an Asuki inspired art project. And the main thing they will focus on is like merchandise and stuff and just the, the branding, no like real utility, like tools or anything like that. So personally, I'm not gonna mint this one, but it is for sure worth knowing about. And the fifth and last project today, we have soulstreet.finance coming out with their new like Wolfies collection right here. First of all, these guys put like zero effort into their art. Let's be honest, this is the type of art that maybe could do well like back in September or October last year. But like these days, we have a lot more requirements for the art to actually be good as well. And like these guys just didn't put any sort of real effort into their art, which is really unfortunate to see. Now, one thing that is cool about this project is that Soul Street Finance is kind of like an already established platform and they're kind of coming out with their NFT collection. But their NFT collection itself is nothing that I'm a like, huge fan of. They're minting with a 5,555 supply as well on the Magic Eden launchpad for 2.7 Solana, which is pretty high. And taking a look at some of their engagement on this one as well, they just don't really get 
any sort of good engagement like their mint information got 28 likes nothing impressive considering their high mint price and their high supply as well and the utility behind this project is nothing too crazy either you would kind of expect more from a project built by an already established like finance project but oh well so kind of the utility they're doing is we want wolfy pfp to be a strong signal for a talented trader an intelligent investor a deep thinker an nft connoisseur however you say that word ultimately a steward of the protocol as soul streeter but they're not doing that much cool things i mean uh, they make trading cheaper they strengthen financial incentives to running or investing in soul street pools and they induct you into the wolf pack so <laughs> that's kind of their utility they also have their own token and stuff but overall not very impressed about this project but they are launching on the magic in launchpad and they have gotten some recognitions recently so i just wanted to feature it but not very impressed personally so there you go those are basically the five projects today personally i really like the three first projects the two last ones not like a massive fan unfortunately but it is what it is some weeks we just don't get amazing mints all across the board but if you enjoyed today's video and got any value from it do consider to smash a like subscribe down below to never miss any of my future videos let me know which one of these is your favorite project down below in the comment section also if i missed anyone i'm sorry but also let me know down below because i would love to know if i did check out my twitter and my patreon down below in the description together with all of the links to these projects i talked about in today's video now with all of that said i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys later peace